Hello guys. Today, I want to show you how to resolve common problem that comes with dual GPU. First, let's explain what we want to achieve in perfect scenario. We want to launch game on rendering card, then process to activate lossless scaling on frame gen card connected to our main monitor. Very common issue is when you launch game, it will go to wrong monitor or rendering card, or some games straight up refuse to cooperate whatsoever. Okay, now when we know what we want, let's get over some scenarios starting with Easy One. And that would be Overwatch 2, because Overwatch has built in feature that allow you to choose rendering card. Even if Task Manager said it's rendering on frame gen card, you can still see if rendering card is utilized with MSI Afterburner. If rendering card wouldn't be used, Afterburner would show around 0% utilization. Now, let's move on into next scenario. In this scenario game, don't want to be launched on rendering card when game is forced to launch on rendering card by Windows. What we need to do is set second monitor as your main monitor, launch game. Make game windowed, drag it to your desired main monitor, check if your game is still render on rendering card. Make game full screen borderless or just press Alt plus enter if you don't want to be in full screen and activate lossless scaling. And since I am on 99.99% GPU utilization, do my PCIe 3Gen X4 bandwidth limitation in 4K for me, it's pointless to do so. And for me, the toughest scenario is when games straight up don't want to launch with rendering card and same time don't want to be on primary monitor when launch on second monitor. First thing we need to do is launch game on primary monitor and make it windowed. Then drag it to second monitor and close game. Second thing to do is set your second monitor as primary one and launch game. And now crucial part, you can guess set your main monitor as primary monitor while game is still windowed and drag game to primary monitor. And now you can set your game borderless to make it full screen and check if it render on rendering card. If yes, you succeeded in task. Next time you will launch game, Windows will automatically use rendering card while system manager can show you wrong GPU, but GPU utilization never lie. Also in this footage, you can see something is wrong here. Why do I have 16 milliseconds respond time when my GPU is not maxed out? Well, to again, do my PCI 3 Gen X4 bandwidth limitation in 4K. Only solution to this problem is just lower your resolution. In my case, if we'll switch my dual monitor to 1080p3, 20 hertz problem will disappear and my respond time is in full swing. Now you can enjoy your hard work to make functional dual GPU setup. See you in next video.